have personality coach uh, Mark Mbugu in the building. Welcome. You look really good today. Thank you. You look lovely as well. Asante Sama. <laughs> so we last last week we talked about sleeping positions. Yes. And it's just weird because I just want to figure out. <laughs> and you want to find out which yeah, position so you're alisema in. Ini gani. <laughs> Does it change depending on and just before Maybe I shouldn't ask my question first. Please take us through like a crash course okay. of what we spoke about last time because we are answering all the questions that weren't answered last week. All right. So to our viewers, we have four distinct personalities that split up into four others. Actually, it's a whole, whole new chapter. So basically, if there is someone who twists, you wrap. That means you leave it as it is. You crumple and you also fold. So all these personalities say something about you. So your hands really do a lot of communication, by the way. It is why the area of focus is around that and can also tell about your dating style and how you process information, but more essentially on your sleeping patterns and what it says about you. Mm -hmm. So that in a nutshell talks about your personality. So you've talked about the sleeping one as well. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so my question. <laughs> I'm ready. Does it mean, this is like, you know, <laughs> okay. but mimi ndio gini pig wenu, okay? So, uh, say, if, for example, I'm having a good day. Yes. I will sleep different today mm -hmm. than when I'm having a bad day. Yes. So, what we're saying is you do not have one constant sleeping, sleeping style. position, exactly. style. Yes. Okay. So, this is what it says about Muikali. We just have this emotional residue. Today we'll be talking about that a bit because okay. sometimes it means if you have a time frame of how you're solving things, mm -hmm. then that means consistently you'll have a certain sleeping pattern. Okay. If your agendas for the day have been met, okay. any conflict that comes in between, mm -hmm. we Kali will take a different position for that day because there's a lot that's unsolved. That's what we're calling the emotional residue. Mm -hmm. So it depends how your day is. Okay. It depends who comes into contact with your primary behaviors and who comes into contact with your secondary behaviors. Because we can really meet some irritating people along the way. That's true. You also have your own passions for life. Mm. If I prick your secondary behaviors, which is something you really do not want to bring to your primary, yeah. because like we said, and to our viewers, primary is what you kind of polish, you want people to see, you want something that people will live with about you and say, wow, Muikali, that's why it's you. That's why you're my friend. That's for the primary. But if I come in an angle where I prick your secondary, yeah. I start bringing in some sarcasm, I start bringing in some mockery, mm. that day you'll have an unusual sleeping pattern. If I work with you in the same working space, yeah. boom, that entire month, Mwikali has this odd sleeping pattern. You mm -hmm. become that ninja that we said. You become all these kind of sleepers. Yes. So that is why we really take time to watch our space and the people around us. Because all this is coming again to the emotional residue. If you're consistently with me in that space, I will irritate you. Oh, if God. you have people who value your presence yes. and you work things out real quick, mm -hmm. no changes to your sleeping pattern. Okay. Woe unto you <laughs> if you're working with them and they're constantly irritating you. You'll just be there. Sha, sha, sha. <laughs> Please send in your questions, triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line and we'll be answering them. So we're going to just, go, just going to get into that picking up from uh, last week. And if you just joined in, we just had a crash course. Mm -hmm. Araka, raka. That means we'll see Miss next week. Okay. Hi, um, Wikali. I'm Grace and I'm watching from Yeri. I sleep in the recovery position mm -hmm. and I find that I can't sleep without some background noise. What does that say about me? What type of, what type of a person can I match with? So to one now, recovery position. Recovery position. Now you see now, th this has to be at the other side. Okay. That's why we're calling it a recovery, recovery position. position. Sometimes some medical terms use recovery position if they just want to resuscitate you. Ah. So this position of sleeping at the side, and you see now we call it what we talked about, the emotional residue. Yes. So I need some background music, depending on what kind of genre you listen to, mm -hmm. to soothe what's inside. There are people who use music as therapy yeah. to create an ambience for their healing. <sighs> so... Others need background noise mm -hmm. to kind of soothe what's really happening because I want it out. So I need this space. 
I need this emotional residue that's actually trying to soothe what's really happening inside. Other people have to meet people, have to call someone. Hey, Moikali, I'm going through this. Yeah. You're the music, in quotes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Lakini. So there's this thing that I found out or was told about or struggling with sleep. So okay. Definitely. I think I've mentioned it before that everything was just happening at the mm -hmm. same time. So you can't just sleep. Yes. And I was told about this technique. Mm -hmm. Yawatua Ami. <laughs> I want to hear this. You breathe <laughs> in, exhale loudly, <laughs> and then you have to focus on like color mm -hmm. or texture. Yes. And I couldn't do that. So the other one was to count. Okay. So I did. From one to ten or ten to one? Ten to one. Ten to one. And they, I, they had also the alphabet one. Okay. I couldn't get to M okay. because I had to go A, B, C, D, M. And then I'd be like, okay, so X, Y, Z. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually the numbers worked yes it took a lot of work it did so it that did. means i was dealing with something you were dealing with something inside and i was very particular on how you um said these numbers from yes. one to ten or ten to one, ten to one. so at wow. times when it's ten to one yes. you're kind of trying to tone it down oh. now we talked about primary and secondary behavior so yes. today be because of the nature of the questions, we're yes. going to talk, I'll uh, stretch out to the primary behaviors. Okay. So we, kindly, we have this foreground, which means is what I want people to see, like we said. Mm -hmm. Then there's the middle ground. Mm -hmm. This is when I have verified people on this foreground. I kind of, we kind of relate, so I bring you to the middle ground. Okay. And then there's the background. Mm -hmm. Now for the foreground, middle ground, and background, depending on how much the issue has affected you, Yeah. Then we say 10 to 1 means we want to deal from the background, bring it closer to the middle ground, then to the foreground. Ooh. So we have to try so many things for Mwikali to deal depending on how deep is the issue. Mm -hmm. See, you're going to count. Someone else is going to use music. Someone else is going to call. Someone else has to talk it out. Others have to shout, grab something, transfer the aggression on some stress ball or anything else depending on how deep the issue is is okay so this foreground this middle ground and background these are very deep layers in us mm. we kind of growing them because we are still scary of our secondary this has nothing to do with secondary so you see secondary is where we get now the sleeping patterns they kind of tell us how far the issues are okay some people want to deal with it as it is this is and they're hardwired mm. so that's the reason why depending on how the stress level is or what my how my day was the kind of vision that i have for myself if i'm frustrated boom yeah. we kali we needed to face this day and she had these goals foreground mm. she was frustrated along the way some sarcasm came along the way middle ground depending on how you relate with the person, background. Yeah. If I constantly s see this person around, it stays at the background, goes to the secondary habits. Hope you guys are learning. <laughs> hmm. What does it mean when someone, especially a man who has been cuddling you, stops and wants to be cuddled? Wow. There's nothing wrong. I think when you have a man who is in touch, with his feelings. Yeah. Remember we talked about different sensitivities mm. and I like when actually, I'm actually proud of the guy in quotes to say. Yeah. A guy who's sensitive and says, you know what, we need to have a transference. Basically that's what it means. Oh. We have to give each other affection. Is there anything wrong when a man actually says, you know, I need affection and I need it in this way? Yeah. It's because it's been one traffic. We needed two way traffic. We need to make some chemistry. Yeah. We are creating a chemistry so that we need to cuddle each other. And that's the reason. So the stopping is just saying, I've given too much to you. Yeah. Bring it back to a traffic. So it's okay. It's I, definitely, I think it's okay. Yeah. Especially because some of these hardwired uh, behaviors that we get are normally at the secondary. Okay. Women are very affectionate. They tell you what they want, how they need it. So it's close to the foreground. That dude that you talked about, it's at the background of your primary and in the secondary. Okay. When he stops, he's saying, let's create chemistry. 
And he goes ahead to ask for it. Please cut on me. Actually, that is even more specific yeah. and brings us to the kind of uh, how he handles his rapper. Mm. You, you, you're really going to, in fact, if he is introverted, that's amazing. Because in most cases, extroverted men are the ones who are very confident when it comes to public display of affection. Mm. Because you know what they want. Mwikali is an extrovert. I'm an extrovert. I'll say Mwikali. You know how we get down. Yeah. But now if he is an introvert mm. and voices out how he needs it, yeah. there is growth. Okay. There is growth. See it as growth. I think it's very important when a man says, mm -hmm. hey, this is how I need us to go about specifically saying about cuddling. Okay. He's a communicative man. Good job. <laughs> uh, hi, Mwikali. My son is almost six years mm -hmm. and he sleep talks. He even argues sometimes. My question is, how early does this start and does this mean that this will be his sleeping style forever? Wow. Now, first and foremost, um, you have an introverted child. Really? You have an introverted child, and I'd love to know the birth order because birth order comes into play now. What is birth order? Birth order is either <laughs> the first born, the second born, oh, third okay. born. <laughs> so I don't know. You know, you go deep. Like, I, I go I'm, deep. I don't take anything <laughs> on, as it's like, it's, it's, this is something new you're about to learn, guys. Wait for it. So which, <laughs> which is good because okay. it represents a, a, an audience that all needs. We yes. need to go deep and we are growing. Yes. So, one of the key things is to understand if this is a firstborn child. Okay. In most cases, I call firstborns pioneers. They are the ones, in fact, most parents try, have this trial and error with the firstborns. Mm. They're learning about the child. In most cases, they are trying stuff. There's so much with them. Secondborns, you know, they have the firstborns. They have already paved the way. So these are the easygoing kind yeah. of children. Yeah. And the thirdborns, of course, firstborn has done it. Secondborn has done it. So, hey, I'm the one to chill most. And the only children, the only children almost act like the firstborns and the thirdborns. Mm. So in this case, if you have this communicative child, you see that this is an introvert. They, they internalize a lot, okay. Okay. And they probably do not have the space to talk it out with you. There's a tough environment. Communicative children at that age, it means that they have no place to actually communicate or no toys to express themselves with. If they are more out outdoor, they could talk a lot, argue a lot out there, come back home, tell you how their day was. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's lack of engagement through sports. Now, the fear of the parent is whether this is permanent. An outdoor, indoor, bring indoor sports. They'll make your child communicate. Introverted children begin so early. They think so early. Yeah. I can tell you that as an introverted child as well. Okay. That's how it began for me. Yeah. Closed doors, trying to come up with some ideas, trying to follow up some stuff. So if I do not have the space and the communicative space, I'll sleep talk. You're not going to get that. It has to come out. It has to come out. Because I have to tell mommy, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is how I failed today. If there's no environment or if there's a perfectionistic environment where we don't communicate our failures, they're going to verbalize it at night because they know I failed today and I can't tell mommy today. Neither can I tell daddy today. So let me sleep, talk about it, argue with what was happening during the day. So chances are, dear parent, perhaps you have created a perfectionistic a a scenario at home. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to change that because Absolutely. I think the last bit, does this mean that this will be his sleeping style forever? Forever. If, if, if mom doesn't change the atmosphere, what happens to the baby? What happens to the baby now, you have this introverted, deeply introverted child. We are looking at now a deeply introverted teen by the time they get at that point. Now this is between 13 and 19 as you know it. And at this stage, teens do not communicate a lot. They want to try out their own stuff. This is where now you deal with hard-headedness. Mm. Because when they were a child, they used to obey you. Now they're not. Now they're really not. They're yeah. challenging you. Yeah. By the time the teen years are done, now as a parent, you're struggling for honor. Because they're 20 now. Now you need your honor as a parent. Hey, I've done this so much in your life. Now I just need my honor. Even if you're going to do what you're going to do, I just need my honor as a parent. And at that time, they're deeply introver introverted. Yes. They found their way to relate with things. And not you. And not you.
painful. That's painful. Really painful, my really darling. So that again transfers to the personality dating. Because if they're talking in their sleep, they're not able to talk to you. Yes. That they're older and they know they can't, so they choose not to and they relate with things. Yes. Oh my God. It's so That's hardwired. Like, yeah. So by the time you, you can imagine where Kali they're dating. We need to go on a very quick break. <laughs> be sure Mac Mbugwa will be here after the break. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Full Circle with Mukali. Tunambiwa Maukweli. <laughs> personality coach Santa Sana. Thank you so much, Mikali. So, hi, Quash. Um, hi, I am Quash. <laughs> talk, <laughs> okay. talk about guys who sleep kama wamejikunja. Okay, kama wamejikunja. Eh. So that introduces about two to three kind of sleeping patterns. Okay. Because kuna kujikunja ile ya kokun, Ile ya kukunja ka blanketi. Everything. Everything mm -hmm. rolled up. Mm -hmm. Then kuna kujikunja ingine ya side. Mm -hmm. Baby curls. Okay. So kuna hiyo kujikunja. Mm -hmm. Then kuna kujikunja ingine that you find that you are actually doing two to three. Because actually soldier is actually shrinking. Okay. That's what people don't realize. The micro details is actually um sepia na kuja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in most cases, men who are like this, let's begin with the cocoon. Basically, we talked about the cocoon being the kind of guy who rolls himself up with a blanket. There's that I part that comes first. In most cases, because of the secondary behaviors, they are so hardwired to the point where they are so used to attend to things alone first. Okay. They have to really cross these secondary behaviors to the primary and make sure now I'm in a relationship and I have to tackle it with someone. Not mm. all issues are just handled solo. Okay. So there's also this other side that we talked about. By the way, also scuba is also another form. Scuba ni gani? Scuba mwikali ni leto lisema, unaingia chini ya blanketi. Uh -huh. Na unaingia pia chini, chini ya pilo. pilo. Yes. yes. That happens also just, the name comes from just the submarine. Ni kama tu scuba, umengia tu chini kabisa. All these are different forms of just comforting themselves. Okay. There are men who sensitively sleep like that. So it's either to know, is this coming from a sense of sensitivity mm -hmm. or from a sense where they need your attention? Okay. It's never really about affection because men are used to giving in most cases. So it's a problem with the receiving mm. for the men. Okay. For the men, it's mostly about the, re the receiving. It's reached a point where I think I have exhausted myself, not in the relationship, mm -hmm. but in giving it in your form of love style. Mm -hmm. I have given you your love language, Mwikali, for a long time. Now, when will I get mine? So in most cases, I will call up. In most cases, Okay. I'm not getting my form of love style. That is the form of communication. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Um, still on the personality talk, can your phobia say something about your personality? Absolutely. Ooh. Absolutely. Okay. I say that twice because phobias communicate a lot. But okay. in this case, we are talking about relationship phobias. Okay. We have also other extreme phobias. Crowd phobia, we have injection phobia, we have all this fear of heights is also a phobia. Yeah. But for relationship, yes. I fear commitment. Mm-hmm. I fear marriage. Do you have to say it out loud like that? Or <laughs> it's the way that you... You know, like, I'll just be dating forever. <laughs> forever. And I would never say commitment phobia. But, you know, <laughs> it's like, Nico, too. Us Me? guys are still, you know. Yeah, we are still maybe not <laughs> as tight as we need to be because this is a clash of issues. Okay. You also perhaps even fear marrying the, the wrong person. Yeah. Now, this, Mwikali, is a legit form of phobia. Let me let me say so to speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel all, good about myself now. Please yes. keep going. <laughs> because it gets to a point where I've gone through a lot mm -hmm. and I'm coming to the point where you know so much about me. Yeah. For example, sorry today, you're, you, you, like you said, I was the like, oh my pick. God, it's fine. <laughs> Let's just so do it. So we've gone through a lot, Mwikali, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's getting to a point where you've known so much about me as mm -hmm. a man. How will you handle this information? Mm -hmm. And I fear now breaking up with you because we are at the zone where you are at the background of my everything. 
I'm so vulnerable. I've never been this vulnerable with anyone else prior. You, yeah. you came and changed my life and now you want to say you want to walk away? Then I have the phobia of marrying someone who I'm not sure about. I have to stick with you because you know so much about me. We, you have discovered some new parts in me. I have discovered some new parts in you and we have reached the secondary. Mm -hmm. I've never reached this far. Mm -hmm. I've only dealt with the foreground, the middle ground. Chicks never go this far. Mm -hmm. You have managed, and, and this is why I say this because Mikali, I can have this primary, I can have this secondary because I'm hiding this from, from you. Then you come with a unique love I've never experienced before. You have taken my secondary and made it my primary. Ooh. And now you've taken my primary and made it my secondary. I have never had this experience before. Yeah. Why should I go ahead and try to think who I can marry? You want to walk away, definitely I'll have a phobia. Mm. I'll be phobic. So the issue is, this is where love is mysterious. Okay. Because people come into your life, life and do and take you through a journey you've never experienced before. I thought this is gonna be, you know, slowly by slowly, we're kind of knowing each other, we've given it a time frame, but there's some people, that's why I've never given this a time frame. Yeah. Some say, hey, six months is too long, one year is too long, by one year you should have known, hey, wait a minute, love, it can be mysterious, and you can come and change, make my secondary, make it one mm. whole, I have no even secondary. Mm. Mm. At this point, I can be phobic. So yes, we have relationship, for big situations because if you've made me discover something new about me, I've made you discover something new about you, now we're in a unique path. We are shining, we are glowing, and we are healing. Yeah. Why should I leave you? Why should we leave this? I think it's the same thing that you'll find yourself stuck in a relationship that is not good for you. Absolutely. Because you've opened up yourself in this kind of way and now you're just like it's okay devil you know <laughs> shenanigandre okay people who can manage small versus huge crowds and how to help with their personality while in dating mm -hmm. small and huge crowds yes. now small crowds this has to do with nervousness mm -hmm. it's normal but it shouldn't stick for long huge crowds again this happens to be anxiety so we're talking about nervousness mm -hmm. and anxiety but we're talking about the relationship space see now this is where we also have other phobias because you're attractive mm -hmm. and there are men who have phobias just dealing with an attractive woman mm -hmm. where are you gonna find her in a crowd yeah <laughs> she managed a crowd for herself mm -hmm. will you go through that crowd phobia to talk to her Ooh. yeah now you need the crowd to be less so now you're dealing with another form of nervousness she has two friends, hmm. so let me make the move now. She's amazing, she's attractive, she has ticked all my boxes. Now what do I do? You can have both phobias. There has to be a point if you're a dude, you have to fight these small battles as we go to the major. Ladies, now you've reached a point where you're saying, I think he really has everything that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So this crowd phobia, this either huge or small, has mm -hmm. to be fought either way. Okay. I'm just looking through some questions <laughs> here and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Mukali, I'm loving the show. Wow, that's Mimi, great. Mimi, ni wakulala kwa kona. Kwa kona. Yeah. S what okay. does this mean? The entire bed of the perimeter. Let me use this pillow. This is the bed perimeter and you choose the corner. Yeah. There's so much unattended to. This is the psychological issues that we're talking about. This is when perhaps if you, you may actually go through psychological intimidation, that is what it means. Mm -hmm. Let me explain that. Mwikali, again, I'm sorry. It's not Extroverted. Well, yeah. I'm introverted. Yeah. So the, we come to a point where your personality might want to dominate mine. Mm -hmm. Your extrovertedness wants to dominate my introvertedness. Mm -hmm. What will that do to me as a man? I will now look for corners. Now this mostly happens with women. My introvertedness has come too strong and it's challenging Mwikali. Oh Mwikali, you're too loud. Oh Mwikali, you're this. Try to tone it down. I'm not allowing her to be expressive naturally as she is. Yeah. So most women will now curl up, look for corners. Curling is just a sign of this so much unattended to. And now you're cringing. You're caving in. It's a sign of psychological intimidation. 
And it's hard to realize this. When your guard is up, that means when you've woken up, you don't want to talk. You avoid issues just like you sleep, just like your sleeping patterns. You left it. It has gone to your secondary behaviors. You don't want to talk about it. We just want to give a quick apology, get over it. But the issues are coming deep in because you're psycholo psychologically sorry, intimidated in the relationship. You do not voice your personality. You do not express your personality. Someone is dominating the other. Wow. Someone's personality has taken over. We are now not complementing each other. Mm -hmm. We are competing uh, against each other. So that is likely what is happening. I'm thinking of a situation like in marriage. So we've gone past <coughs> dating. We've gotten to marriage and probably, you know, we're good. Yes. Can we also pick up the spaces we're in at particular moments by how we sleep? Yes. And that's an accurate assessment and a very deep question. At this point, we have either found a coping mechanism because they're hardwired secondary habits. Yeah. We've gone through dating. We've gone through courtship. Now we are married. We either allow one trait to be stronger than the other or we silently compete against each other. Yeah. This is where now silent assassination happens within the relationship. Silent assassination of now, mm -hmm. I either try to dominate you by slandering you. And by slandering you means that I have to look at those good points that you are good at and I bring them down. No. Or I either mock you. Mocking now means... I need an audience. Hey, do you know Mwikali these days is like this? So I go to your friends. Mwikali is like this and this. So you have your class of friends. I have my class of friends. Yes. And I'm now introducing my primary because it's still intact. Your primary is still intact. Mm -hmm. You have found your extroverted friends. I have found my introverted friends. And guess what? I'm just coming. I've been too introverted that I need to be. So my friends are asking me, hey, what's really happening in your relationship? Come on, guys, you know, Mwikali, you go with your extroverted friends. Mwikali, you're not as bubbly as normally you are. You know, Mark is a problem. Mm. At this point, if we are not going to find a solution, we now silently assassinate each other within the relationship. We agree to disagree agreeably. Win today, Mwikali, that's cool. Tomorrow, I might win, fine, win today. The other day, I have to now win, Mwikali. Yeah. I have to volcanically win this. As a man, hey, out of three, you win two. Mm. So silent assassination happens through the sleeping patterns because the sleeping patterns tell us how hardwired are the secondary habits and how much of it are you willing to change. This is where all of us, whether you twist, you crumple, you fold, or leave it as it is, we become hard-headed. We become hard strong. We address this with some stubbornness. Mm. Before I met you, definitely there are so many years. Before you met me, there are so many years. So we need to address that. And please, this is not, don't stay conspiracy, guys. <laughs> like there's, there's hope. There's yes, there is. Oh, <laughs> yes, there is. Yeah. Oh, yes. But you need to be open to be, to be able to see this is what is happening to me and this is how it's affecting my partner, my husband, my wife. So if I'm not open to that, then all these other things you've talked about will happen subconsciously because subconsciously. I feel like I constantly <clears throat> need to defend myself, if not to you. Yes. Then I can go to my friends and be like, yo, you seem to dress me, me. Yes, it's yes. And, and Mwikali, just to bring that up, um, you can have a short version to kind of know this. This is where eating habits come in. Mm. Eating habits come in. What do you mean? <laughs> this is where... For example, you're a slow eater. Okay. And I'm a fast eater. Uh -huh. So definitely when we are serving each other, yes. I know I'll finish the plate. I'll plod along my plate real quick that you. So you are the f last to finish. Okay. So now I have a shortened view of how you want stuff handled. Mm -hmm. To handle me, Kali, yes. one step at a time. To handle me, we deal with the quick issues. See, now this is where I want to bring um, to our people's attention to understand, you know, 
definitely it can be hardwired over a period of time and definitely there is hope because these things that's why love is mysterious and helps us recover get to see how can i improve mikali's life yeah slow down my eating pace yeah how do i keep up with her don't put too much mm. okay eat less keep up with your pace that's just eat on one plate that is just eat on one plate <laughs> 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 and all these things we call all these things now give us a hint yeah. on how we can actually complement each other. Mm. Games, we talked about games for example. Games reveal a lot about secondary habits because like I said they're hardwired. Mm. This is why you need to play games together. Outdoor games specifically, sometimes even indoor, just f- for those of us who are not more into outdoors. See how they handle you when they win. Okay. We call you one today. Is she going to mock me all through mm. and say hey mm. I won on th- how do you s- you're going to see how I handle failure yeah I'm going to see how you handle achievement mm. next time I win I'm going to see how you handle failure all these are ways of bridging the gap and making it more closer more interesting so okay. there's hope sports do not underestimate sports between each other indoor sports watch each other if you have to have a meal together picnics go old school you're not going to find this in restaurants yeah picnics take her out see how she is does she serve herself first before you she keeps herself first does he serve himself before you i could just be hungry Absol- wow. you could be <laughs> but on so many <laughs> scenarios yes. that i'm taking you out yes. definitely i'll see all right you go for your favorite food okay that means you kind of adventure yes. before you come to what you like mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All these are ways that are telling me this is how you need to handle me because there are people who might say hey Mark I don't sleep to next to my crush you yeah. know I'm kind of having this crush from afar mm-hmm. I'm watching her what do I do games sports old style school Absolutely. picnics movies. get to know each other movies mm. all these are areas to kind of know what does she prioritize what does he prioritize does he serve himself does he serve you well because there are those who just serve get to themselves there are those who make sure we can you have everything you have that serve yet you have before they begin then you see they give too much of themselves yes. before themselves yeah. now you know the gap you need to fill on my end mm. yeah so if we can we able to know then if he's doing or she's doing all this how can i do the most on my end on your end This is the point now you know what really is an attend is an attended to from your end. Okay. Okay. Because you'll get to see hmm I want too much sports. I think I really praised my achievements yeah. and he's really struggling with failure so I need to encourage him. Yeah. Or now you kind of know yourself see now this is more on you mm. to get to see all. Oh, now this is what is happening on the other end as well as like i said old school style picnic this is where you get to see more about yourself and you're like okay now i need to improve now i know where my errors are yeah. see now this is a different angle from the sleeping ones if yeah. just in case for some of you it's a bit scary you're like now i'm waking up in the wee hours of the night look at this style what I, do i do with this that was just me <laughs> i was just I, I, i nobody was next to me guys don't get it twisted i was just focusing on me it's like what is this thing <laughs> our time is up mark but Okay. Have you ever found yourself just are your dates like when you ma, but I this is not chambua to watu. Now th- this has caused me to be very introverted. Mwikali this has changed everything about me. Guys are thinking like I'm using this by binoculars, this telescope yes. I'm watching them from take afar. I take my food and it is away from people unfortunately because I do not want it to look like I'm trying to investigate everyone. So it's changed my life. I can't even open a sweet next to you. I'll just be like he's looking. I'll make you feel How comfortable. You will? I will make you feel comfortable. Hmm. <laughs> Social media handles Mark. Mark Mbogo that's on Facebook. Mark and Skombogo that's on Instagram. Find me at Twitter that's at Gifted Purpose and YouTube Mark Mbogo. Asante sana kukuja. You're always always welcome, fascinating. You're welcome. Conversation. Thank you. Me you We're make it interesting uh, as well. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> We're taking a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. The Couple of Fitness is doing their thing. And let's just find out if I'm going to be part of it. We'll be right back.